Tonight, authorities warning the threat isn't over as crews are continuing to monitor hot spots in the Dalles at this hour. This is residents who evacuated return home after a serious wildfire forced level three evacuations this afternoon. Many local residents, however, weren't aware of those evacuation orders. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And call it a warning shot for the wildfire season ahead. This afternoon's wildfire sparking fast and shutting down a large section of Interstate 84 for a short time this afternoon. Our Jennifer Dowling spoke with fire officials. Jennifer, you say they're worried tonight this might flare up again? They are. They're continuing to monitor it at this hour. There's a road closure right behind me and all in this area. There are fire trucks, you know, checking out the blackened areas and mopping up and checking out hot spots. And there is that concern, even though it was reported that it's 70 percent contained tonight. They're a little concerned because tomorrow they're expecting a similar day with hot temperatures and windy conditions. Will be working throughout the night and into the morning, fighting any remaining flames and smoldering mounds of brush after a fire burned through around 130 acres in the Dalles. We saw what just this fire could do. It could leap over uh, the interstate. So that's our biggest concern is that that an ember doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't attach itself in, in unburned areas and, and then we're off to the races again. U.S. Forest Service spokesperson Stan Hinatsu says the Mile Post 85 fire was driven by a strong west wind. It started near I-84, then left over the road, burning swiftly towards the Google Data Center. It burned right up to the, the actual, uh, you know, actual pavement. A helicopter dropped buckets of water on the fire, attacking the flames from above, while teams from several fire departments, including Mid-Columbia Fire, tackled it on the ground. Stan says mop-up will be critical for this fire. These draws have the heavier fuels in them, so they take longer to burn up and take longer to put out. And so that's, uh, that's going to be critical when, with uh, tomorrow's forecast, a, a warm warm again, but uh, windy again. The fire was being managed under a unified command structure. Along with land near the Google Center, the fire also burned a huge area near Taylor Lake. Stan says it's been one of the driest April and Mays in Oregon. And if this fire is any indication, it looks like the start of a tough season. Well, this is a little bit early uh, to have a fire of this nature and, and to do what it, it did. Um, and, and that doesn't bode well for, you know, the coming fire season. And Stan says that some crews will need to get some rest tonight, but there will be a team on patrol doing mop up and then more resources will come in in the morning. They say the cause of the fire still under investigation. Back to you in the studio.